What's happening guys, Diddy Bear 89 here, back in some more Dragon Ball Legends info and today we are going to talk about the, of course, Sparking Medals. Now, these Sparking Medals were introduced probably just over a month ago, so you've been able to collect them on your daily missions. So, what we're going to talk about is this, okay? So, yesterday I brought you the V-Jump scans and I went into detail about the characters that should be coming in, but we don't really want to look, talk about that, we want to talk about the bottom right hand corner, which is this, okay? So, this here you have a picture of Shallot. Many people were speculating that he was going to be sparking, but I'm sorry to say that's not going to happen. It's just him telling you what the hints are and basically little bits of information. Now, at the bottom it has that SP token or uh, ticket or whatever you want to call it. It's a token, coin, voucher. Now, basically what that is telling us is that we are getting two, well, not even two new, it's just a reset of the characters we can use with these tokens. Now, if you do not know about these tokens, we're going to go through that in a second, but the two new characters that we should be getting would be the uh, green Bardock and, of course, the Pod Freezer. Now, I'm looking forward to this Pod Freezer because he's been eluding me for a long, long time. Now, guys, there are these um, tokens that we have to get. We have to collect seven of them to actually get a character of the value of, I believe, it's 100 Z powers or uh, uh, 50 Z powers. So I reckon these two characters are going to be your 50s as per Turles and Cooler are at the moment. And then you're going to get another set of characters, which will, of course, be your 100 Z power awakening. So what we're going to do quickly is look at the characters that we have at the moment, just in case you do not know how to get through this and go for it. So we are on here as we speak. We're going to go to the news quickly and check out exactly what it says so like i said this was up about a month ago but a lot of people have been asking me about these coins um stating they don't know where to go or what to do with them and when they're going to expire now here we have the information now it says daily mission overhaul thank you for your continuous support of dragon ball legends along with character enhancement easing up daily missions are getting a big update so these are a part of your daily missions guys so make sure you are doing them daily i believe there's six missions you have to go through or daily events to do very easy one would like be uh, use up 10 energy use up five energy use up free energy play the um, goku event the powering up one of course use a rise and rush and silly things like that. very easy stuff that you're doing your basic day uh, day to day of playing then it says daily missions have been even easier to complete now yep because they put it down from seven to six in addition the new sparking medals will be added or available as the daily mission reward so like i said you're going to get these gold coins uh, with them so if you do not know what to do with them we're going to go through it now you have to go to your exchange shop okay your exchange shop and it should have a picture of someone on the banner with these daily tokens as we go along now you can exchange them you do need seven of them to actually collect the character we're going to that in a second it says your exchange period is from the 7th of the 8th so it is july the 8th until the 1st of october guys so you have to use all of the tickets or the tokens you have Oh, oh, the last day is the 1st of October, guys. 1st of October is the last day. Then it will reset with the new characters that we've just literally seen a second ago, which would be the Bardock and, of course, the Pod Freezer. They do not tally over to your next set. It will start from fresh. So it says... The exchange shop lineup updates will be after the period is over. So it will update after the period is over and we will lose all the tokens that we've already gathered. So you will need to use them. Uh, and it pretty much just goes into, please check the exchange shop lineup on your app. Uh, you can exchange seven of these medals for a sparking Z powered character. Uh, number of tradable Z power varies for each character. So you may be only to trade a certain amount on certain characters depending on their rarity. Um, and pretty much goes through easy stuff there. So what we're going to do quickly is look from. So you go to your shop, just in case you don't know how to go there. If you do, well done. Go to your um, exchange bracket. Now I believe I have like 11 or 12. So it'll be the top one there, the sparking clear of daily missions. So I have 11 of them. I've used quite a few of them. And then you have a variety of characters. And like I said, you will get characters of 50 Z powers or 100 Z powers. Now, the two main characters here of this banner was, or these the missions, sorry, or this cycle is Turles and Cooler. 
and then you've got your piccolos and your basically gen 1 characters i say gen 1 because they're around from the beginning pretty much um and then you've got a few characters that you may want so all you have to do is like i said you need seven of them to actually um use them and for example let's say i want turles i'm going to click exchange see how many i've got of him to level up to where the storage i can get at the moment he's nowhere near to leveling up but that's all you have to do click on it exchange it it'll deduct it from your tally and now i'm left with four i have until the first of october guys so do you lot so make sure you are using them before then um, and as we go along so make sure you are doing your daily daily missions because they are worth it they will help you get to your seven star six star five so whatever star you need to get quicker than actually doing the summons it's pretty much a cheap way of getting them Unfortunately, they don't give you 600 Z pounds, but it's 100 a pop. They are free to get, so like I said, you do them with your daily missions. So guys, hopefully this information helps a lot of you out. Let me know in the comments below if you want anything else for me to go over. Uh, also, guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button because I do like to bring out more information and tips and hints for everyone. And of course, a few gameplay. Join my Discord, which is also in the link below. Join my Twitch, which is also in the uh, link below. But guys, that's it for me today. Like always, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for more in the future. And until next time, peace. Hey, look,